Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, big hello to all the new folks stopping by. Welcome to the channel. We have a lot of outboard fun here. Um, Alrighty, in the last video, we uh, dove inside an outboard that uh, was on the crack. It uh, had a lot of damage and carnage. Well, I've got kind of, sort of, it's a uh, non-identical twin here. Another little Johnson 15. And uh, so we're going to get on this one and do a quick facts check on it and see what we find. And hopefully it'll be a little bit, just a little bitty bit, maybe that little bitty bit. Better than that last one, for sure. So, here's the engine in question. It belongs to the same fellow who had his folks destroy his other one. Hopefully this one will fare better. Same thing, only different. Let me see if I can tell you what model this is. So I'm reading it right, this should be about a 99 EE, is that a 99? The printing's off on a little bit, so I can't really see what it says, but it looks like it says EE. So, that'd be 99. Remember that song, 99, ooh. Ooh, I probably just got demonetized. There she be in all her glory. She's a cutie. I hope it's in better shape than that last one. So let me get my sparker check out, my compressionist, and we'll be right back. Can you see them spark plugs? Don't they look lovely? They look lovely. Solid rust. <laughs> yep, solid rust. Got my spark checker and my compressionist gauge and let's get these out of here. Let's get these spark candles out and give them a gander. You understand her, Mander. There we go. Oops. Come on off there. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now that is one oily spark plug. It looks to me like this one may not have been firing, but you never know. There's a little difference in the two, not much. Those are QL82Cs, champions. And that's what they look like coming out. They're beautiful. So, we've got the spark checker hooked up right there. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it over real quick. These are the two that are hooked up. So, look right in there for some spocky wacky. Okay. Yep, got looks like a good, good hot spark on both. Righty, alrighty. We got good hot spark. Let's look at the compressionis. Come on, you can do it. 
You can't do it, man. You can't do it. Tight enough. All right. We are on. Zero on the bottom. Zero on the bottom. Let's see what we get. Five good ones. And we are looking at 100, 105, 110, 115. That's the 120 there. So we're looking about 115 on that bottom one. Okay. 115 bottom. See what we're looking at on the chop. Come on. There goes. That goes. That goes. All right. On the top now. We are on the zero. So let's give her five and see what we get on the top. That's five. On the top, and we are looking at about probably 15, something about 118. So 115, 118 ish. So right there, they're looking pretty good as far as that goes. So we got some Sparky on the Sparky check. We got compressiones. At that point, I say we put it in the tank. Let me get set up, I'll be right back. I put some better spark plugs in there. Cleaner ones anyway. So she got new candles. New sparky candles in there. Okay, she pumped up and I felt gas going in it. Put it on the choke. You are gonna see a what I'm a gonna see. I have not started this or anything. This is cold as the cucumbers. So let's see what we get. Who knows? Let me turn on the noise box. Chokes it out.
it shouldn't be running that hot. Um, runs good though, but she shouldn't be going up over boiling. So uh, I think I'll pop that thermostat cover off and go the route that I did on the last one. See what his thermostat looks like. It's running cool up at the thermostat, so I don't see any problems there. Um, it was 141 at the T-stat cover. But, and uh, on the bottom cylinder, I was getting around 187. But at the, right in the center of the two, and toward the top cylinder, it was going over 215, 219. So, I don't know. Might just drop that lower unit real quick and uh, take a look at the oil impeller. I'll be back. Its name? That tune. My luck was so good. I could do no wrong. I just kept on rolling and controlling them bones. My luck was so good. I could do no wrong. I just kept on rolling and controlling them bones. Name that dune. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and pop that lower unit off this little 15 Johnson. And in the meantime, things have been getting really busy around here. As in... That... Yacht. And... That's a hydraulic power pack. With a Honda GX390 that don't run. And then I've got a couple more over that way behind that white locker that I gotta get to. But right now let's pop this lower unit off, or excuse me, water pump housing off. See what we get, what we get, what we get. See what we get. Not the best. Cup don't look too bad. Housing, other than being a little rusty and dirty, don't look too bad. The impeller's really bad memory set though. It's not delaminated that I can see. Got my little pen. I got my pen, I got my pen. It's fairly good bit kind of delaminated too. I don't know if it was slipping, but it would eventually. I mean, I could probably pop that out of there. So, that's not good. So, let me get an impeller. I'll be back. Alright, I got the uh, lower unit put back on. New water pump impeller in it. Let's see what we get. Turn on some noise. Oh, my God. 
that's in the center of the two plugs.
So, this one, good. That one, bad. Oh boy. I'll be right back. Diablo. Diablo. This is actually a really nice shovel. Um, it's called a Trooper Steel, but it's got real nice folded over, you know, places, and it's got this corrugated stuff so that your your boot don't slip off. But it's really heavy. Got a nice stainless steel handle, and somebody chipped it, so they had to throw it away. In case you were wondering what this setup was, it's an Outrage 17 Boston Whaler. He said he was on his way into the harbor and the motor just quit. Yeehaw. Where does a Kodiak brown bear poop in Alaska? Anywhere it wants. That's where it poops. Well, it looks like we got lucky on this second little Johnson 15, um, 19 and 94, or, no, excuse me, 19 and 99. The 19 and 94, not so lucky. See that fireball? But, this little guy, turns out it just had a really bad memory set, uh, water pump impeller that was starting to delaminate from the center hub on it. Um, it might have been slipping, I don't know, but it pees really strong now. And I couldn't get the temperature in my tank up above, I think the, the highest reading I got was 158, 163, something like that, which is where it should be. Um, so it seems to run pretty good. Um, I might up the idle on it. Get the teeny weedy. Just a little teeny bit. You understand but uh, yeah so we got lucky on that one uh, the other Johnson I'll let the owner decide what he wants to purchase and stuff like I said I do have other uh, you know cylinder blocks for that motor but I really don't want to sell them because I can sell a complete running motor of this model for a lot more than just a cylinder block so but I don't know. We'll see what he says. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm going to bring in here next. But I'm thinking it's a really rough, beat up, two-stroke Suzuki. And I dearly want to get on some of my own motors. That little bitty 49 Johnson. 
10 horse um, I would love to get at my mercury three cylinder 50 I would love to get at and then that Tahatsu 18 that just come in here seems a little interesting to me but uh, first thing I got to do with that hose it down and get them creepy crawlies they in there spider web cocoons they're in there so I gotta hose it down and I think when I start on that one I'm just gonna pull everything off and go at it with the good soap and water and degreaser and all that and get it all cleaned up before I even bring it in the shop so I got a little Suzuki out there um, I think it's pretty basic stuff with this one it's an old abused motor that's been setting yes I said outboard abuse but I think I can get it going for the guy and uh, and it'll be just a matter of a carb clean and and so forth like that but uh, you know that's my plans but my plans have been changed before because when it comes to this little shop you never know ever never never what's going to show up in here so that's going to be a wrap on this one that as always is one more hat from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.